Okay guys, welcome back. We're here at Acre Day. Yeah. We're uh, just seeing all the new product for the 2020 season. Some new iron shafts. Some cool stuff. Some really cool mix. stuff. Yeah, Acre diving into the, the steel shaft market for the first time ever. And one thing Gav said I thought was interesting, that's going to be fitting studio only steel shaft. Yep. I like that kind yeah. of model where they, they want someone to get a fitting and not just buy a shaft and say, like, good luck kind yeah. of thing. Right? It's always been the Acre way. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people uh, watching will be wonder why Acre have never been in the OEM upgrade carts. Yep. You know, everyone sees Acre, they see Gary Woodland playing it, they see Tony Finau playing it, and they, they want the opportunity to play it as well. But unless you visit uh, a boutique store like ourselves or a custom shop, you don't have that option. It's true. They, they yep. deal specifically with, and it's always been their model, to deal with the best club fitters and club builders in the world. I think it's a good model. Yeah. So lots of interesting stuff that we'll get when we go home. Yeah. That's going to come into yeah, the shop. Yeah, lots, lots to talk about. I think the most interesting thing we saw was this prototype variable balance point shaft. Yep. Um, so kind of take us through why this is unique in, in terms of a shaft offering. Well, we talk about it all the time now. Yeah. When it, you know, obviously we've done a lot with Nemesis recently. We, we talk a lot. We talk a lot about high balance point. Yeah. We don't not necessarily focus on this is a low balance point shaft. We talk about it much more when it is a high balance point shaft in the extreme. Yeah. What's unique about it though, when you change the, the balance point of the shaft, you're also changing the, the characteristics of the bend profile of that EI curve. Right. So what Gavin wanted to do, obviously working you know, with the best players in the world, and he gets out on tour probably you know, 12, 15 weeks a year, is he generally, he saw a trend, and he and I talked about this last week, he saw a trend of guys like to really feel the head. You know, they, they're gonna use that for their timing. Right. You know, and different companies are, are gonna obviously have different head weights. We know Ping is a little heavier. Yeah, the, Callaway's we see, a little lighter. See up to, what, 12 grams of differential from uh, you, the low you could, and high end, right? no, no problem at all. Yeah. And obviously there's different variables that go on. So when you play a, a heavier uh, head, it brings that balance point down play a lighter one you're going to see it rise up a little bit you're going to get lighter swing weights right. that type of thing so the whole concept behind this but behind vbp variable balance point is that it is two balance points a high balance point that you've got and a yep. low one um, but it's the exact same bend profile that does not change at all so that is unique because they're the only ones that have isolated balance point exclusively exclusively everything else is the same yeah okay yep. it's smart definitely so this is this is a kind of an addition, or an addition to uh, or an evolution of the CS1 shaft, yep. the concept series from a few years ago. That was Acra's shaft, born from what they found from the S3 machine uh, yes. when they started really being able to X-ray golf shafts and, and dive into the DNA of, of kind of what was what was working in various parts of the of the shaft. So. Right. You know, that was a really, really smooth, high performance shaft. It's so a popular shaft. Really right? popular, and yeah. I'm very curious to see how, with the, the ability to vary balance point, how that is. So, roughly, I know we don't have a swing weight scale That's here. That's the problem, isn't so it? So, yeah. we kind of guess maybe three swing weight points will occur between these two things? I would guess about three. Okay, so we're going to start with the high balance point. Okay. Um, Which, this will be interesting because the Cobra head we hit it yesterday, it's, it was kind of fairly standard. Yep. F9 last year was not a heavy head. We no. had to add weight to it to get it to perform how we wanted to. So I'm very curious to see how this one uh, how this one performs. In my hands, it doesn't feel light no. head-wise, and I made a few swings just to warm up. Um, so I suspect, I know this isn't as heavy as a ping, mm -hmm. but I would imagine it's probably just below the ping somewhere. Slightly above a Callaway, that sort of so. idea. I think so. Okay, yeah. well let's let's hit a few and see, see what the numbers tell us, Matty. So really, yeah, more than, more than anything I'm expecting to see in the numbers, Matty, the one thing that I do see with you when we change weight, uh, the balance point as a variable is you tend to curve the ball a little bit. With the lighter swing with the weight, lighter swing I tend weights. to get the face closed. Correct, correct. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if that sure. happens. Okay. And a boy. Good start. <clears throat> Call this Cobra driver test uh, round two while we're at it, I guess. Well, you've, you've kind of taken, uh, started up where you took, uh, left off yesterday, 174 ball speed, 10 launch, 2300. That's, I mean, it's, it's quick. <laughs> that's pretty ideal, sta Like standing it? start, like we always joke about. I know. It's, uh, that's good. Well, you, you were a little offline with that one. <laughs> I think it might have been half a yard to the right. <laughs> that's no good. Are you taking that driver to play today? I might play with it. <laughs> We're playing a scramble. We need to hit some bombs. 173, 10, 7 launch, 2700. 
Couldn't have drawn a straighter line. Really, eh? And that's went up in weight a little bit as well. That's 75 grams. Yeah, which is usually right. not my, my so thing. So again, back to that whole conversation is what what is it that you like? What yep. is it that's working well for you? Is it the weight? Because whether you're high balance point or low balance point, you're still 75 grams. Yeah, Doesn't there's matter timing, how you slice it timing it. issues yeah. with, with either, if exactly. it's good or bad. Yeah. Pretty identical. A little 176 bit more of a draw. ball speed there. Really? This so thing's got some juice for sure. Nine launch, 2100. A really, really flat 301 carry on that it's, one. Going out like a bullet. It feels great. Okay, let's, let's switch those shafts. Let's switch it over. Okay, my man. Okay. Over to the low balance point. Still 75 grams, still X flex. Yep. Curious to see how this is. Me too. So two minutes to carts, and we will send you out for announcements. Two minutes to carts. Thank you. That was good too. Mm -hmm. So whether it's whether it's the mass that you're using, your time in that one significantly better for speed creation. Okay. Right. So whether you know it's not the first three shots, it doesn't matter what you could hit. You're not going to hit anything better than that first one. Yeah. But with this one, you're. 1.6 miles an hour faster. So a little bit of an energy boost, mm -hmm. and the other one maybe like a dispersion kind yeah. of advantage. And which is some somewhat counterintuitive to the you know the thought that you know people are going to swing lighter faster. Yeah. It's how you use the mass. Do you use lighter to swing faster? Yeah. Or do you use the mass to swing faster? Depends yep. what you do with it on either side. So this is a bit more traditional in that like heavier down there is producing more balls. Correct. Yeah. Okay, let's hit one more. Okay, see if we can hit one more like that. That's good. Really nice. That was that one got up in the air a little bit more there and just bumped your carry up a little bit. 177.3. Quick. Really this quick. Feels a little reminiscent of last year when we kept hitting Yeah, F9 we kept, kept we kept of... adding adding <laughs> distance to it. Good. Um did you feel the similarity in both the shafts? I, well, I think what I perceived was like a, a lack of difference in, in most ways. Yeah. Little waggle test, you could perceive a bit of weight difference. Right. But in terms of like dynamically hitting shots, yeah, yeah. no, they felt very similar, which which is what they should be. Absolutely. So when you when you guys are experiencing the shaft loading, when you're experiencing kind of contact and stuff, there shouldn't be much difference. It's more just a just a, a sort of mass and a heft. And it's, it's just such a good idea because it. Yeah. I think you've outlined how important it is for build to get these balance points That's correct. Exactly. So it. now it's just it's great because now it's a, a proper build option. Yeah. If someone likes this profile of shaft, they can't, or sorry, they're not limited mm -hmm. because of the balance point. Yep. They just choose the one that actually makes the correct build. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. really smart. Yeah. Gives gives people more options. Gives us as club fitters more options, Matty. Yep. You know, if we see someone working with a specific product and they're hitting it really well yep. and they're really enjoying it, but we know that that's not a great build. Yeah, you know, because so the head is lighter The component heavy. weights are not gonna, not gonna jive if there's a specific grip required. Yep. You know, that they want to go a little bit you know, bigger in the grip. Well, maybe we'll change the, go to the lower balance point just to get a little bit mass further down towards the head. Yeah, good point. Those little things that can save a few swing weights here or there. For sure. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting this back to uh, Definitely. Toronto and doing some. And, and we'll do some builds with it. Yeah. We'll, we'll build some different ones and we'll, we'll see which ones are good builds and what, which ones aren't you know good builds and and show the swing weights absolutely yeah awesome good. excellent well this is a new one for us we don't get a chance to do this no you know Super no one's no new. one's made a, a shaft with the same ei curve same bend profile that has that variance in ball speed so yeah. and, and balance points balance so point. we're really looking forward to getting this back tested absolutely okay more to come from accurate we'll see you again soon